Hey guys, Jalen's here. I'm really excited to talk about uh, something that I bought fairly recently, and it would be probably the best kept secret in uh, CPU cooling. Um, so just so you guys know, and you can probably hear in the background, I'm playing Battlefield 1 right now, just testing. Um, I just built a, another computer here, and I'm testing it on my 10th bench mess rig area here. Um, as you can see, this rig right here has a i5 4690K uh, overclocked to 4.3, I believe. I had it at 4.7, but I dropped it down because I had it on a stock cooler. Uh, 7970 gigahertz edition. And just one SSD just for, uh, just for loading uh, OS and some games for testing. Um, this motherboard is Zen 97E, USB 3.1. Okay, uh, so basically I'm just testing on my, LART, my big screen right here. And as you can see on the uh, monitor screen here, it's i5 4690 at uh, 1.35 volts. Core speed is 4.3 gigahertz. And we're about about 60, 60, you know, around the 60s for usage, which is not bad. At stock frequencies, it was actually almost hitting 100%, like it was 80, 90s uh, without overclocking. So that's nice to see that there's still some headroom. And you can see on real temp here, we're hovering around 60 to 70s-ish. And you can see the max temp on the bottom there. It was at 72, 72, 69, 68, which those don't mean that it's regularly on that temperature. It just spiked to that temperature at time. The best kept secret is this cooler. This is the, I don't know if I have the branding on the right side here. I just installed it just for a quick time, right here. So it is the Alpine Arctic 11 Plus. It's a it's a very cheap budget air cooler. Um, it's made to replace obviously the stock fan heat sink that comes from Intel. Um, and the the thing is, it dropped my temps because when I was at the same settings for this computer, I hit 95 to 99. Uh, degrees temperature on the stock heat sink and this dropped it down considerably So I just wanted to show you this uh, I'm gonna continue with another video quickly in regards to testing <clears throat> on the same rig with the same specs the uh, Corsair H Ooh, I don't remember what this is it's not the 105. This is the 140 millimeter. Oh 115 the H115. I'm gonna test this. I'm gonna pull it off of this rig here and put it on here and, and show the, the results of that on this test bench here. Um, and I will actually post the picture that I took of the stock heat sink temperature. I didn't record it on video, but I'll just show it on picture right at this moment here. This is the best kept secret that you can actually find. Uh, the price for this air cooler is about it's under twenty dollars Canadian, so it's about I think it was fourteen, fifteen, sixteen dollars, um, and it's one of the cheapest air coolers you can get. The only reason why I opted to get this cooler is because I just wanted something cheap to to, to cool one of my other PCs that I built. Um, but I was actually very surprised by the cooling potential on this noise level. It's not horrible. What you can hear right now is actually the um, the graphic card. Uh, it's got that uh, coil line. This fan does have some whooshing, but if you have a closed air cooler, it should be okay. And this is the retail packaging, guys. Uh, they're not going to put a lot of money involved into the packaging and advertising because it's a super budget air cooler, but it does its job. So again, it's the Arctic Alpine 11 Plus, and it fits all sockets. 1150, 1151, 1155, 1156, and 775. The reason why I bought this uh, cooler also as well is because I was using this to cool my 775 socket, uh, Q9550, and it actually did, did a really good job cooling that uh, rig as well because I overclocked that to 4.2, I believe, or 4.1 um, with this cooler, but then when I took it, and when I used the H115, I actually was able to overclock it another 100 megahertz to 4.2. So this is the retail packaging here. Very simple, very basic. Um, it was actually missing parts, believe it or not. But I don't, uh, I didn't expect much to be honest with you. It was still enough parts there to actually install it properly. 
and help cool. But yeah, that's the retail packaging there, guys. So guys, it took about 20 degrees off of the stock heat sink and it's only basically a $15, $16 cooler. Uh, that's amazing for what you're getting. I truly, truly suggest any budget um, uh, builder that wants to overclock their systems with something fairly cheap and efficient, it's the way to go. Um, like, like as, I, as I'm gonna show you here, it's got a white fan, which is cool. I mean, it might not be aesthetically pleasing depending on your build, but if you're buying, building a white and black case or a system, some white accents, and say so your motherboard has some white accents, I mean, this would be a perfect cheap upgrade to uh, help cool your system. Anyways, guys, that's all I have for today. Thanks for watching. Jay Lumzo.